Hello there, my name is Luke and welcome to my opinion on the farcical situation going on at York City with their manager Jackie McNamara. This is going to be my raw opinion. I'm not going to edit this too much, so I hope you enjoy. So York City of the Vanarama National League have got a manager called Jackie McNamara. He was at Dundee United uh, a couple of seasons ago. He left them after doing a reasonably good job. He was developing a lot of their young players, likes of Gary Mackay, Stephen, who then sold on to Celtic. He did a pretty good job at Dundee United, and since he's left them, they've completely capitulated and not done very well. So when he was appointed at York around about a year ago, I thought, that's actually a decent appointment. That's That looks like a pretty good appointment. But... He doesn't know English non-league football at all. He's never played or managed at this level. He didn't know he didn't know the football league either. They're exactly the same. Never played or managed in the football league. So, you know, you just sort of relying on his managerial qualities rather than his past experience to sort of get him through. And it didn't get him through last season. York City got relegated under his leadership, and he was given a massive chance by the chairman. This season, he was the chairman was like, "We're gonna, we're gonna put faith in you. We're gonna give you a budget. You're gonna hopefully get us back promoted first time back in." They went and signed something like twenty eight players in the sun in the summer. That that is mental. Why on earth would you sign that many players and have that big a squad? It's just beyond belief. Um, they let, they let obviously a lot of players go. They kept a few as well, so their squad is huge. Yet the actual quality in their squad, they've got some good players, but it's not an incredible squad. And I know a lot of their fans aren't particularly happy with some of the players that were signed, and they are certainly not happy with McNamara because York City currently sit 20th in the league. On Tuesday night, they lost 6-1 away to Geisley. Geisley were bottom of the league before this. They had not won a game. Well, they still are bottom of the league. After 14 matches, they're now on six points. That includes the three points that they got against York. And they got a 6-1 victory. This is a team that hasn't won yet in the league. And they're going to beat in York 6-1. Like, how does that happen? How? I, I just don't get it. Because York City actually scored first. Matt Fry scored, I think, in about the 13th minute for York. But York's away record, they've played 24 away matches under McNamara. No wins, four draws and 20 losses. That record is is a, the wor as worse as you're going to see. And this is a team that are push, trying to push for promotion back to the Football League. And they're right down in the relegation zone. Like, it, it's completely mad. And then this isn't even the worst part of the story. Because after the Geisley match... On Wednesday morning, Jackie McNamara had a meeting with the York City chairman and they agreed at that meeting that he was going to resign, McNamara was going to resign, if they didn't get a positive result on Saturday against Braintree. And I don't see why they don't just sack him. If they're saying that you might as well resign uh, if you don't get a good result, then... Why why don't they just sack him now? It must be financial. They must not be able to afford to sack him. Yet they've gone and signed twenty eight players in the summer. I think that it's, it's a complete. It's a bit of bit. It's a bit of a mess to be honest at York City. I think it needs sorting out. I think they need an experienced non league head uh, in charge as manager. You know, someone like Gary Brabin um, that's that's been at non league level for a long time. Um, he might not have these most admir the most admirers out of all the managers in the world. But he knows non-league. McNamara evidently doesn't. He's got something like a 17.8% win record at York City. And then there's extra stuff like he was caught fair dodging on a train from Edinburgh or some ridiculous thing like this for an £86 ticket. And he's been taken to, taken to court and fined 500 quid. It's just, it's just complete madness going on with McNamara. And I'm astonished that he hasn't been sacked. And I think that he should have been a while ago. There are so many teams. You look at like Leeds United and the Championship. Gary Monk, after four matches, was in danger of being sacked. Yet McNamara lasts like 50-odd matches with a 17% win record. He got relegated and now he's 
just above the relegation zone in that lower league and he's still not being sacked and they're not going to sack him they're relying on him to resign it's just it's just madness now obviously I'm not a York City fan so if there's some little details that I've missed out then I do apologize but that's sort of my opinion on the whole matter so that's pretty much it if you've enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this then hit that like button and subscribe and thanks for watching Mickey Mellon going to Tranmere from Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury obviously in League One. He won the conference with Fleetwood about five or six years ago. 